Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here to show you something that is going to be very very beneficial for you guys and I'm damn sure that you'll thank me later. By the way, the thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the heating of iOS 14. I have been continuously talking about the heating of iOS 14 on my iPhone 7. Not only my iPhone 7, the 7 Plus also gets hotter. Not only the 7 Plus, the 11, 11 Pro Max, pretty much most of the devices gets much hotter than the iOS 13. Especially if you have an older device like the iPhone X or the iPhone 7 Plus or the iPhone 7 kind of device, then it is going to be very, very bad. This is the iPhone 7 and I have turned off this device. Like right now the screen is turned off so there will be no heating it will be perfectly fine but whenever i turn on my device and i'm just keeping this device here and it will keep getting warm with time there is no reason for that even if i turn off the wi-fi the bluetooth every single setting the phone keeps getting warmer automatically and it keeps getting warmer like my friend uses an iphone x and he was frustrated by this thing and he can't even downgrade to ios 13 so he came to me and asked me what can I do about this heating? I cannot play any games, I cannot use my device while I'm outdoor, even I'm indoor, it gets warmer automatically even if I don't do anything on my phone. I was very helpless, I couldn't help him, I didn't know what am I supposed to do. I give a lot of tips to you guys but my own friend asked for a little help and I was totally helpless. Then I feel very frustrated and what I did is I tried very different things. At first I tried disabling all these widgets, home screen widgets, all this one I removed every single widgets. Okay, that doesn't fix the issue. So I thought that this is an iOS 14 bug and I can't do anything about this thing. And that's the reason I left the thing behind and I went for other videos and I thought okay that's that's not a thing for me, I can fix that thing. But after two days I found one amazing tips that helped and saved my iPhone 7 special. I don't know about others, my iPhone 7 and my friend's iPhone X are safe right now. Now let me give you the tip. Throughout the video, I think you have already seen that my device is getting a little dimmed automatically. The thing is, I have turned on the battery saving mode. Here you can see the battery saving mode. My device is right now very cool. It's not yet warm a little percent. I'm using the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth is also on. It's not going to get warmer, but whenever I turn off the battery saver mode, it gets warmer automatically. Here you can see the battery saver mode. If I turn it off, then my device keeps getting warmer automatically, even if I'm not doing anything. But if I turn it on, I'm assuring you that if it doesn't work, be sure to give it a dislike, be sure to comment down, be sure to try the power saver mode. It became a live saver thing for me right now. Anyway, now let me talk about the cons of this low power mode. It will not fetch anything in the background. That means if you are using photos like me, iCloud photos, then it will not upload or download your photos photos or videos in the background here you can see here you can see that upload post for eight photos but if i just turn it off then it will keep uploading but i can do that because my phone is going to be enormously hot and that i just dislike i hate this thing and it was very very painful to me thanks to this low power mode here you can see the low power mode is enabled right now i cannot upload the files but at least i can use my phone it's not as warm as before i can use my phone okay that's all for this one goodbye